Children's authors aren't political creatures because children aren't. Politics means big things. Anyone who knows children knows they live for themselves and the present moment. Yes, but children can be taught to find themselves and the present moment within an ideology. They're far more receptive to suggestion than adults, and that's what you try to do with this story. You are guilty of subliminal indoctrination. That's absurd. So you don't support the dissidents? No. You're not a member of the underground? No, I'm not a political person. Do you support us then? Have you supported what we've done for peace, for order, for stability? I told you I know nothing about politics. I thought you didn't smoke. This is my first. Who commissioned you to write this story? Where is Closet Line? Who are the clothes that come alive in the story? We already have two turncoats in custody, the kindergarten teacher and the physicist. Who's the friendly rooster? How does he know when mother will come? Is he in the government? We have a few suspicions. <laughs> You're not one of those anti-smoking activists, are you? What is it you have to say? Say it quickly. My father will be coming back any minute. I return to Oxford next week. We cannot see each other until I come back to London for Christmas. I will miss you. Will you promise me to not receive any other suitor in my absence? right do you have to ask me that? A few kisses and you think you own me? I know your sort. You'll use me as a plaything and then run off and marry some milk-faced miss from one of the best families. No, that is not true. I am not like that. Go away! I shall do as I please. That is my father's carriage coming down the lane. Go. Do you remember Mr. Sherwin, sir? Yes. Steal yourself, sir. For I have married his daughter. But she was unfaithful to me and is with child by another. All I have left is you. And whatever mercy you choose to show me, I know I have disappointed you, sir. You have not disappointed me, Basil. You have lived down to all my expectations. Every one of them. I always knew you would wallow in muck. That your mind was filth. Your every impulse low and carnal. This is where your instincts have naturally led you. You have but followed your piper. Uncle Frederick! I did not follow my piper, sir. I merely followed your example, dutiful son that I am. You did not know I saw you, did you? You and your lover? 
by the sea at Windermere. God, you have sullied that place for me, and I am glad I have given it away. And Mother knew about your seaside tryst. Stop!